Hey guys, my name is Humphrey Pittman, and um, today I'm talking to you a little bit about uh, Matthew chapter 10. We're going to cover the literary world, the contemporary world, and the historical world about um, what went on during that chapter. Um, so it starts out um, in the literary world. Um, Jesus is giving them instructions to go out and um, go into the world. And so he starts out by training them, um, giving them all the powers that he has, blessing them, letting them know, hey, you can do what I can do. Go do it now. And so... Um, Basically, these 12 men have been sitting around watching Jesus for, you know, three years now. So um, it's time that they, you know, kind of spread their wings. They get kicked out of the nest and then they go and they start doing the things that they've seen him do um, during the previous amounts, amount of time in his ministry. Um, in verse 6, he instructs them to go to all of Israel. Um, he gave them orders to teach to anyone that will listen and bless any home that will receive them. Um, it talks about um, later on in the chapter them being thrown to wolves um, or sheep for the slaughter. Um, so to say, they're going to get a lot of rejection. Not everyone is going to want them to come in and tell them about Jesus and give my life to them and sacrifice and get rid of everything that I've worked for. Um, so um, a lot of places aren't going to take them. Um, if no one in the town will listen... He says, just move on. Go to the, go to the next town. Don't waste your time um, trying to, you know, beat down the door. If they don't want to listen, that's their choice. They'll come to regret it later on when the end times come. Um, in the historical context, um, the reader will see that most of the traveling is done by walking. And so it's not like today's day and age where we can just get in our car and drive from Fresno to Clovis. Um, that walk would be, you know, a day, day and a half, uh, depending on how far you went. Um, it was, Israel was pretty big at this point in time, so um, some of the journeys could be weeks. And um, they're out there, you know, in the elements. They don't have cell phones. They can't just call and say, hey, let me tell you about Jesus. Um, you know, he's a pretty cool guy, and, you know, this is why you should follow him. Um, so the conditions in first century um, were, were a lot different than they, than they are now. Um, the hard part for me, and this is like, ouch, in verse 9, um, he instructs them to take no money, no belongings, no sandals. They're barefoot no food and uh, and to go out so this is this is a very rough journey and he's preparing them um to go through the hardships that they're going to endure another thing about the historical context of this is in first is in the first century you could walk from fresno to clovis knock on someone's door knock 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 they answer it and say hey can i stay with you for the night they don't they don't know who you are and they're like sure come on sleep in the living room here's some hay you can lay on and so they um they had a different type of um hospitality back then. Um, you know, someone knocks on my door, I'm shutting out my lights, I don't want to answer it, you know, hopefully they, they won't know I'm home. Um, you know, something like that. So, um, the contemporary uh, portion, uh, the, the contemporary world, in present day Christianity we can draw from the historical and the literary world to see the message is pretty clear. The contemporary world is from reading this passage tells us first to be believers of Christ, accepting him as our Lord and Savior, and then um, learning about the Bible, the text, because that's what we present to people. Um, it's not just about becoming a Christian and then you're you're done. You actually learn about the text, you read, you develop knowledge, and then you share that with other people. Um, it's re really important. Um, a lot of people don't see it this way, but I think it's very important to understand the knowledge that we're sharing, because when they ask you a question, you don't know the answer, it'll, you look kind of silly. And um, so, But to go out and to proclaim the gospel, and it doesn't mean standing on the corner with a sign. Um, it means just, you know, you have a chance in a conversation. Um, you know, let me you know, let me tell you about a little bit about Jesus um, or, um, you know, Christi Christianity as a whole. Um, so just going out there, the passage is pretty clear that it's a call to action for all Christians once you've been trained out to go out into the world and to share this gospel. So that's all I got for you. Thank you very much. Leave comments and let me know. Bye.